Cleaning a stuck-up cast iron frying pan. William Hovey Smith, 2017. I'm Hovey Smith, the backyard sportsman, and we've been cooking in cast iron all our lives, and here's how to clean up a stuck-up pan. This is Hobie Smith, the Backyard Sportsman, and today we're going to talk about cast iron cookware and other things. I was born in 1941 as a privileged child of the Jim Crow South, and things were quite different in that era. One of my earliest memories was going back to my nurse's house, which was back behind the big house, where she was making soap in a cast iron cauldron. And this was lye soap. And she could see no reason for paying good money for soap when she could make it herself. And so she did. In this cast iron wash pot. And our clothes for some years while I was growing up were washed in a cast iron wash pot by boiling over a wood fire, as that had been done for 200 years in the South. That just was the way it happened. And we grew up eating from cast iron. Now for those of you not familiar with cast iron utensils, they are heavy. They are iron indeed, as advertised, and they are cast. Uh, these are three cast iron frying pans I have here, uh, some of which are older than others. Uh, this is perhaps the oldest pan I have. Uh, it was made, I don't know, 30s, 40s. It's marked Made in U.S. And it has some very, very hard seasoned encrustations here on the bottom of the pan. Well, these are fine, and it's not important if it's on the bottom of the pan. But if they get on the inside of the pan, then that is a little bit of a problem. Of course, you've all heard about seasoning a cast iron frying pan, although some of you don't know what that means. Uh, basically, it means starting off with a new pan, which is bright polished metal, and you cook something greasy with it, uh, pork fat of some sort usually, and you rub that around the pan, and then you cook some grease down and you literally just throw that away. Then for your second cooking, you again apply grease and then you start cooking. And ultimately, the cast iron will build up a black interior deposit of basically carbon. And this sticks to the cast iron and it makes it a pretty nearly non-stick frying pan until you do something like cook sweet potatoes in it. And if you bake sweet potatoes in your cast iron frying pan, the sugar contained in the juices seeping out will caramelize and stick very, very hard to your pan. And that's what happened to this one. And I'll show you a little bit about how I cleaned it. Now there are basically two methods of cleaning cast iron. Well, three. Um, the old-fashioned method was, if you had a cast iron frying pan that was really stuck up, you went out in the backyard, you got a bunch of sand, and you proceeded to work that sand and scour it down with a, uh, a wet cloth until you finally got it clean, or clean enough. And uh, then you went back and re-seasoned it with pork fat and so on, and you did it that way. There is now a chemical solution and this is a product by Camp Chef, and it enables you to help remove the stuck-on materials in your cast iron frying pan. Uh, basically, these are sugars of one sort or another, either derived from fruits or vegetables, and uh, they may form a very, very hard crust. In this pan, I had a very severe hard build up here. So the, this part of the level this part of the pan was level, but then uh, just a ridge here, which wasn't very desirable. Now, I am the owner of Hobie's Knives of China, and in our Billy Joe Rubido brand, we rebuild cutlery. 
And I had one knife here, had a very handsome rosewood handle, beautiful wood. You can't buy this wood today. But the stainless steel was so soft, I didn't think it would make a decent blade when I reground it. So what I did was put a chisel edge on it and then used it as a pan scraper. So now I have a non-scraping tool. This steel is softer than this cast iron that I can use to get out these heavy incrustations. And so this is, a, I reworked the handle so it would fit better in the hand for this use, and uh, we sell this product for $40. So uh, you'll see now this product in use and how to clean up your frying pans. We had an unusual event. I have been away on a trip and have returned, and I found that we lost power to the extent that some of the material in my refrigerator had defrosted. So I had a bunch of meat and we had to process that meat in a hurry. Now among it was some liver. So I cut up the liver with my little steak knives here, which did very, very well. But liver has a bad habit of sticking up your cast iron frying pans. Uh, actually I do liver and onions. And there is some sugar content, believe it or not, in liver and onions. And so that sugar tends to bond right hard to the frying pan. So this is my frying pan cleaner. And it's used as a scraper to scrape up the heavy stuck residue without scratching your frying pan. And this was made from a knife whose steel was too soft that I thought would make a good blade. But it had a magnificent rosewood handle. You cannot buy rosewood of this quality anymore and haven't been able to for 20 years. So our scraper has completed its job. ourselves of the residue. frying pan I can take and put in the sink and actually clean. So we now have a clean cast iron frying pan uh, ready to be put away. I've dressed it to the surface with a little oil and you'll notice there are no deep scratches through the finish. So yeah, uh, the little tool here works and it can continue to do so for an awful long time. For now, this is Hovey Smith, reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. I have published a series of outdoor books, included backyard deer hunting, extreme muzzleloading, crossbow hunting, and practical bow fishing, and I do have recipes in all of my books. This soft stainless steel scraping tool is the best thing I've come up with yet for getting really hard char out of a bottom of a cast iron pan. For more information on Hobie's Knives of China, you can go to the blog below. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 625 videos, you can go to my website www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye! And God bless.